Hello my dear friends welcome to Fortran Academy my name is Harsh Watts and today I am going to tell you how to import data set from MySQL server in Power BI desktop Power BI desktop is an analytical software that will help you in understanding your data set through various visualization in different data models now let's go forward and talk about the point to be discussed in this video so in this video we will tell you how to connect mysql database to power bi and in further connecting it we will tell you what are the connector that used for connecting the mysql database to power bi after that we will tell you how to authenticate the settings in power bi so your data will be accessible in power bi desktop now let's go into the power bi desktop and see how does this thing work now we are in power bi desktop in my previous video i have told you how to create your own mysql server for free if you want to know how to do that you can go to my previous video and learn everything from there now we are back into our video in which we will discuss about importing the data from mysql server so in here you will get get data option just click on it for importing the data from outside so you can easily go for the sql server so when you click on the sql server so it will create a new dialog box that asks for server or database my server is local host 3006 database i want a b test i have created this database now you have a two option in here for data connectivity mode that is one either you can import or you can use a direct query what is the difference between them so so import is actually import the data from sql server into your power bi desktop or particularly in power query editor you can see the whole database in power bi desktop but in the direct query it is directly linked to your sql server if there any changes that happens in your data after you just import you won't be able to change anything but if you use direct query you can say that your data is actually linked to their sql server if there is any if anything happens in your sql server the changes will again be repeated in your power bi desktop but in case of import it is not but in our case we will import so you may think that the direct query is more useful but it is certainly most of the time not because you were just capturing the image at that time only you won't be seeing what are the changes that is happening in the future or you won't be thinking in future also so mainly import is also very usual in an advanced option you will see a command type out and if you know if you want to do sql statement from your own side you can do that also so after that so before clicking on okay there is one mistake here that i have to write 3306 for the local host after that click on okay when you click on okay you will be taken into another dialog box that is looking like this now you have a windows database microsoft account we have a database so you can write a username which is root earlier you can write the password so after that click on connect so when you click on connect you will see another dialog box that opens up and shows that we encountered an error while trying to connect details an error happened while reading data from provider internal connection fatal error error state 18 that means there is some error which we have done so the confusion is we use sql server we didn't use my sql server there is only a small difference between them but actually there is a huge different sql server actually works on a different database if you connect to a different database it works for different regions but my sql is actually i have created it for my own local host so i should 
do that and i will use my sql so before going any further i have to go into uh, file section and into options and setting data source setting so i have to delete uh, that i have just entered what i have just entered so i have to delete this uh, just clear permission so delete it so you will see there is no uh, local host permission given now after that close again after that again go into the get data section again now go on the more you won't see my sql server here after that when you click on the more you will see new dialog box opens up that is get data you have a lot of database i will particularly go for my sql database this is my sql database so after that click on connect again the new dialog box that opens up and shows my sql database this connector requires one or more additional component to be installed before it can be used that means i have already told you in point to be discussed we need one connector for my sql database so click on learn more so when you click on learn more it will take you to internet explorer and particularly into mysql site in here you will see a component in here that is windows x86 32 bit msi installer so this is 3.9 mb you require to download this connector so i will click on download again it will take you my sql community download it will ask you for login or sign up don't go for that just click on no thanks just start my download and you will see your download will be started and in my case it is already been downloaded after that click on click on it it will start installing you can see it is preparing to install after that my sql connector net 8.0.21 so now you will see it is looking like this after that click on next so it is asked you there are different type of option that is available to you you can go for typical custom complete so most probably go for the custom after that it will ask you all these things are required to ins be installed after that just go on the install after that install so you will see it will ask you for permission so just give the permission to the connector and you will see it is also started getting downloaded and being installed in your computer so it will take a few seconds to be installed in your computer now you can see your connector has been downloaded but you have to restart your power bi desktop if i go for the get data again for more and again into get data tab into get data dialog box and again go mysql database and connect when i go that again you will see there is additional component missing because i just downloaded it power bi desktop doesn't know it so for that i have to restart my power bi desktop so it will take a few seconds to restart just restarted my power bi desktop it will take a few seconds to getting restart now you can see the power bi desktop has been restarted and now again go into the get data section of the home tab to import the data from my sql server again click on more there is new dialog box that opens up for the get data so which look like this now go on the mysql database after that click on connect now you will see a different dialog box because now you have just connect to the server which is local host 3306 database i want to import is ab test which i have just introduced in my database for mysql database again it is an advanced option if you want to write a comment timeout you can do that if you want to do particularly sql statement you can also write that in my case i don't want to do that after that click on ok 
So when you click on OK, there is new dialog box that opens up that shows you use my credentials that again go into the database and write your username that in my case that is root and my password I will write. Now after that click on connect so it will take a few seconds to navigate through my database and you will see a new dialog box that opens up and look like this now we have a navigator so this is my database so when I click on it you will see ID region rate so when click on it load so there is two option you can either load it or you can use it in transform section so it will directly go into the power query editor so I will click on transform data so it will be transferred into power query editor so the power query editor is being opening up and now you can see my data has now been imported into the power bi desktop and looking like this this is id region trait so before going any further and make the sense out of this visualization we have to detect data type because the rate is actually numerical again click on control a control plus a so that every data is selected after that go into the transform tab and click on detect data type when you click on it you will see now the rate is now changed into whole number region is actually the alphabetical id is already a whole number after that you will see now your data is up for transferring into for visualization when you click on a home tab again after that click on close and apply when you click on close and apply your data will be transferred for visualization in this section you can see the query changes is happening in the background and after being done you will see the fields in here that is available to you so you will see the loading data to model is happening now you can see there are four rows from localhost four rows are loaded which we are working on it now you can see in a field section we have a id rate and region so if you want to create the visualization for this just click on any visualization you want to do after that just drag and drop id i will use a region as a value and id as a access now you can see oh now you can see our uh, id has not been imported yet again i will drag and drop the id into access and now you will see count of the region by id so hierarchy you can do i don't want to go for the hierarchy again i will drag and drop the rates so your data is looking like this so if you want to make any changes according to your own data set you can do so many more changes can be done into our data set so I will drag and drop the rate into legend so this is what my data looking like rate by ID so, so this is what our data looks like which we are imported from MySQL server database so with this point I am going to end this video and I hope your queries got cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section we will surely get back to you and if this video helps you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have an amazing and good day.